Fun spot to take your kids to check out, full of animals, music, and so much more. Or take yourself. Yeah, take yourself. But you don't even need a little one to find out fun ways to support this local museum. Marcy Jones is there live to explain why. Marcy, good morning. Can you tell us where you are? Good morning. That's right. We're at the Carousel Museum here in Bristol, and all the fields are coming rushing back. It's just absolutely incredible to see some of the, you know, lovely animals that you remember from childhood. And I am here with my new BFF. This is Morgan Queen, Icon Legend, Executive Director. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. I'm just so excited about it because there's nothing really like a carousel to evoke memories. You know, really intense ones from when you were little. I mean, some there was even one when I got. I thought I got lost on a carousel but my mom just moved to take a better picture of me oh that's so sweet I know <laughs> and I do have a really soft spot for them and as I think a lot of people do give us kind of the history of this spot I mean it's a really special place thank you yeah so we have been in business for 30 years we're a nonprofit museum and we do everything from preservation work to restoration and, and collecting and sharing the history of carousel and it's an amazing history that we have here at the museum and it goes so far beyond just you know a fun little childhood thing there's so much rich history behind it and reasons for certain things how did the you know first kind of carousel come about so believe it or not it's actually a military training exercise it's not meant for women or children back in the day so um, as people were learning uh, jousting and equestrian okay. skills um, they did things like um, lancing and they would take their lances and try to get them through a little tiny ring and that's where we get the grab the brass ring game the brass ring oh my gosh that's amazing we are are completely surrounded by absolutely incredible pieces when people first walk in the door and they haven't been here before what are some of the reactions you get so people turn the corner and the common reaction is oh my gosh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't we didn't know so we we are, our home is a um, you know 1901 factory so on the outside it's a typical New England factory but inside yep. it's really magical um, so we have a lot of these figures here that came from carousels this section here is um, pieces from Coney Island okay um, and so we have a lot of different animals we have a lot of um, actual real gold it's 23 and a half carat no gold. way yeah. and then the glass gems and things like that so like something like this this is actually not a carousel horse this is actually a barber chair from the 1800s oh. so we we get them in all different kinds of states this actually came out of the trash in Staten Island in New Jersey um, his name is Gus for the grandfather that pulled Gus, him out. <laughs> you're <laughs> not trash yep. look at you on display now go Gus yep and he's got all of his original paint from the 1800s which we wow. love so you know we never we never really know when people give us a call so we get maybe Maybe every couple of weeks we'll get a call from somebody and they yeah. say I have a piece and like pieces like Gus come to us and in, in all different kinds of shapes so it's it's really great Gus was actually what we call a basket case he came to us in a crate in about 50 pieces Aww, <laughs> so, honey. Yeah, well, he so looks sweet. fabulous now I also love how every you know couple of steps you get something that explains the history yep. and kind of where they came from and what's so unique about that and it really sparks conversations and speaking of conversations I know that Bonnie is gonna take over when we have have our next segment and talk about carousel talk and coffee am yes. I getting that right coffee and carousels yeah. coffee and carousel so cool so just a little bit about that um, and why we're so excited about it yeah so it's a new program it's designed for adults to come out come to the museum we have free coffee and um, have chats and and meet some people and talk about um, people's personal history with carousels but also learn a little bit about what we have here at the museum so fabulous and before we send it back what's the best way for people to get information if they want to come visit you sure our website is the carousel museum.org they can give us a call anytime. Thank you so much, Morgan. Guys, we'll be back over on the wax. We'll see you in just a little bit. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Marcy. We'll see you in a little bit.